Hey everybody, what's up? Tincard here. And today I bring to you what I believe to be the smallest dropper baiter there ever was. So yeah, this thing basically you've got this bottom part here that's uh, 2 by 5 and then all the way up it's just 1 by 2 and you can just make this go as long as you want. So let's take a look at this in action. <clears throat> the first time you run it, it does make a few clicks but there you go. So you can hear it clicked for a second there while the droppers filled up, but now it's not anymore, which is great. Nice and quiet. But the way this works, at this size you'll get about, eh, I'd say like four items stuck per, uh, yeah, per, per run. And there is a way that you can clear it pretty easily. It's just it gets kind of noisy when you do that. So when this thing is running silent, you will get a few items stuck in it, but... If you're just using this for, like, uh, I don't know, sending cobble up from a mine, that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't put your diamonds in it. <laughs> but, um, yep, there. So, it just clicked, it's done. See, we lost four. We didn't lose them, they're just, there's one there. Uh, yeah, they're just kind of stuck randomly throughout it, because once the last item leaves this, it stops sending the pulse up the torch line. So, it's just that last pulse that, um, has to get all the items up, and you'll just get a few that, you know, don't make it. <laughs> they didn't survive. Okay, so let's let's build this thing. Alright, so first, you will need a block. <gasps> yeah, okay. Alright, so you're going to want to use droppers for this. You could use dispensers, but there's always the danger of something not good happening from a dispenser, like TNT exploding. So we'll take a comparator output from that, and repeater with two ticks, that's really important. Without two ticks, um, all the torches will burn out, and you'll get like 12 items stuck in one hot, uh, dropper, which is a real pain in the butt. So that needs to go into a block, and then you take some redstone away from there, Oop. and redstone back in there. So you can see right now that when something is in here, we'll get a perfectly timed pulse out of there. And now we just need to bring it one more over, one up, torch, redstone. So basically, the concept is done. So let's toss something in here. See, it, it'll split it out until it's empty. And it'll stop. So now we just need to stack these droppers up. And you do that by shift-clicking on top of them. And I'm actually jumping at the same time, just so it's faster. Yeah, that's tall enough for now. So now I want to just alternate block, torch, block, torch, block, torch, block, torch, all the way up, block, torch, block, torch, torch. Oh, and I'm just going to go one further so it can be flush with the floor. So that's also what's great about this design. <laughs> You've got this um, flush design here. And once you toss a chest up there, it's basically invisible. So you could have this way down in your mine, and... Oh, I've already got a hopper right here. How convenient. Toss a chest there. Oh no, too much cobble. Send it up the chute. Makes a little bit of noise. And there you go, it's silent. And as you can see, it's relatively fast. It's not quite as fast as a hopper itself, but it moves right along. Well, everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Redstone Stuff. <laughs> and hopefully soon I will be able to bring you some more cool ideas. Remember to head over to my channel, rate, comment, and subscribe. It's all great stuff. The comments really help me a lot because then I know exactly what people are want wanting, you know. Without those, I don't really know what to do. So, please comment. Head over to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.